Hi, this is Bilal from Speckle. So you got an amazing SketchUp model and you want to bring it into Power BI for data visualization while weaving your model in 3D. You can mess around with a bunch of exports and spreadsheets and try to make it work and fail, or you could just use Speckle. Speckle makes it super easy to connect your SketchUp models into Power BI. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. But before we begin, make sure you have a Speckle account. If you don't have one, go to app.speckle.systems and sign up. Next, you need SketchUp and Power BI connectors installed. Link for the installers is in the description down below. So once you have everything set up, let's go ahead and start by publishing our model from SketchUp. In this demonstration, I will be using this office building model that I downloaded from 3D Warehouse, link in the description below. So once you install SketchUp connector, it will show up under the extensions menu and speckle. You can also edit your toolbar by right clicking on your toolbar and selecting speckle from here. Let's go ahead and open SketchUp connector. We will be publishing a model, so I'll select publish and your projects will be listed here. If this is your first time using the SketchUp connector, start by creating a new project. I will name this Office Building and select Create. Now a new project has been created. Let's add a model. This is going to be our architectural model, so I'll name it Architectural. And publishing from SketchUp is as simple as making a selection and selecting Publish. And that's it. Your model is now in Speckle. Next, we need to get this model into Power BI. And to do that, we need the model URL. You can either get it from the address bar or go to share and copy link. Now, open Power BI. Go to get data. And search for Speckle. Select connect to Speckle and select connect. We will accept the warning. And now paste that model URL you copied and select OK. If this is your first time using the Power BI connector, you'll need to log in. And easiest way to do that is by signing in with your Speckle account. You'll need to authenticate and authorize the Power BI connector. Once you're signed in, Power BI will store your credentials. So you won't have to log in every time you load a model from Speckle. Let's go ahead and select connect. And ta-da! Your SketchUp model is now inside Power BI in a tabular format. And next, we're going to convert it from tabular format into 3D. And to do that, we need Speckle's 3D visual. Let's go ahead and import it. Go to visualization pane, select get more visuals and import a visual from a file. We'll accept the warning and the path we need to go is document power bi desktop and custom visuals go ahead and select 3d visual.pbiviz file and select open now the 3d visual has been added let's go ahead and add it to our report and here it is so 3d visual is asking for three inputs version object id object ids and tooltip data and these are auto-generated by the Power BI connector. So go to your query and simply drag and drop the corresponding fields into the inputs. Version object ID into the version object ID input and object IDs into the object IDs input. And tooltip data is just like any other Power BI visual. You can drag and drop any column here. I'll drag and drop object IDs into the tooltip data as well. And here it is. You now have a fully interactive 3D model of your SketchUp design inside Power BI. You can zoom, pan, rotate, do all of that. You want to take it a step further? Add other visuals into your report. Speckle's 3D visual will automatically isolate and highlight selected elements. And the best part, it works the other way around as well. And that's it. You just unlock the whole new way to visualize your SketchUp designs inside Power BI. Let us know if you faced any issues while following this tutorial at speckle.community. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.